Hi, Donna Marie here. This week we are looking at your business location. Now, this is particularly important when you're first starting your business, but there might be times throughout your business as it grows where you might have to look at a new location. And there's a lot of things that you need to take into consideration because to a great extent, location can make a huge difference for the success of your business. Now, the first thing to look at is what sort of premises you need. Can you run your business from home? Now, if you've got a small business where it's mostly yourself, maybe one or two other people working from you, um, perhaps it's, it's an office sort of job, you might be able to run it from home or even some clinics and practices can easily be, be run from a home office. Before you go too far down that road, if that is an, uh, a possibility for you, you need to look at a number of factors such as what other family members think of this if you live with other people. If you're, um, say your, your partner's a, a shift worker, they may not appreciate if the phone's ringing all day or if you've got customers coming to the house. Another thing to consider is the neighbours and whether it's going to impact on them at all. You need to check with your local council because there will be some council regulations or there may be some council regulations, but usually there are, um, particularly if you're going to be having people come to the business premises or if there's going to be any dangerous goods stored and things like that. So you need to find out what your council regulations are in respect to this. Um, you also need to be sure of your work cover and, and workplace health and safety issues. Um, there may be legislation that concerns these, depending on what area you're located in. And um, other considerations are your insurance. Your general home contents insurance or home and contents insurance may not cover your business or it may not cover clients who come to your business. So if someone was to come and visit on a personal nature and they tripped over your garden hose and broke their leg, then your insurance might be able to cover them to help pay their medical costs or to pay should they sue you. But if it's a client who comes to see you and injures themselves and they sue you, your insurance may not cover you if it was of a business nature, not personal. So these are things you need to check before you decide that you're going to run your business from home. Next thing to look at is if it's not a home-based business, what sort of business do you need? Do you need a warehouse? Do you need an industrial type premises? Or do you need a retail store? You need to think about where your main market is located, your customers, how are they going to be getting to you? Will they be driving? Will they be able to catch public transport? Is that going to be an option? If most of them are going to be driving to you, then you need to make sure you've got parking available. Um, you also need to look at uh, things like how easy it is for them to get to you. Um, if a number of them might be catching public transport, how close are you to a bus stop or train station or something like that? Things like the, um, the specific street or you know, the, the physical place where you're located, that can have a huge impact also with regard to what your neighbouring businesses are like. So if they're really noisy and dirty or um, if there's a lot of, uh, lot of people there who might be off-putting for your customers, you might not find that to be a very good location. Um, with regard to the cost, you might find that, that you've got two premises that might be suitable. One's a lot cheaper than the other, but it's a lot further away than the more expensive one. Um, a lot more further away that from, say, public transport or things like that from the central area where your market is going to be. So you need to weigh up where your customers are likely to travel to. And if you take the cheaper option, are you going to lose too much business because of that? In which case, it may have been worth paying the extra money to have the, the more expensive place if that's going to ensure that you're going to get a lot more customers there and you'll make more profit overall. So these are things that you need to look at. I've actually got a location checklist below this video. So click on the link and download that and that will help you to go through cross-checking what what your business needs and what each premises have so you can narrow down where is going to be the best location for your business. I hope that helps. Now if you'd like to see more videos like this on how to run your business more effectively 
and you haven't already signed up for our weekly updates, please do that now. You can do that on donnamariecoggings.com. If you're not on that site, head over there now and enter your name and email address and that way we'll send you an email each time we've got a new video with tips for you to create a successful business that fits your lifestyle. Bye for now.